Hey and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic tutorial. This is Dan and I am driving a 4x4 rock crawler that I made. And I'll show you how to build this with the custom suspension that'll get you over anything. Let's get to it. So if we come over here, we've got what I have here is basically a bed. Since I can't spawn it into creative, I had to make my own. But we're going to go ahead and build the frame of the vehicle. All of my vehicles pretty much have a center line. That way I can have a tow hitch on the back. And it works well with my suspension. We're going to add two on each side here. And this will be the front and back orientation. I'm going to go ahead and add the driver's seat. Right there. And what is a truck without a passenger seat? Just can't enjoy anything. Now that we've got the body all complete, we're going to build up two blocks higher right here. So it's three in total. And then we're going to come out four. And this will be the front of the vehicle. For the rear, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up two more blocks. Then we're going to come out five this time. That way we have a little bit of a bed. It's going to be a short wheel-based vehicle. Kind of like a Jeep. Um, but cooler in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and add the suspension. And what you're going to want to do is bring it in one. And right at the front. We're going to skip one going back. And then put it on the third block back. Repeat that on the opposite side. And we're going to build the suspension. We're going to add our elbows, putting them in towards each other. Put on some bearings. Don't forget to paint your bearings while you're doing this because you still can't paint them once it's fully built. We're going to add a cross piece of pipe this direction and that direction. Add two more straight pieces going towards the middle. Then we're going to add a T piece pointing upward. Forget to weld these together. Now we're going to add our bearing. Another T piece pointing down. We're going to add elbow. Another elbow. Going to add two more bearings, and this is going to be a rack and pinion steering. Two more T pieces. And we're going to add two more elbows going upward. And then the top, we're going to cap off with one more elbow. And we're going to bring the straight pipe pieces through here. If you line it up straight on, you'll get the ghost of the pipe piece Put it straight through. Just repeat this for all four sides. Since the suspension itself is like a piston, it has no collision between where the spring is work just fine although sometimes you're not able to paint the pipe going through your suspension so I like to leave it natural color and then on you're going to put a pipe and elbow downwards on all of them like that the left and the right get a straight piece and then you're gonna add bearings to each side. Repeat that. And you're going to have two elbows facing inwards. And then this multiple intersection T-piece facing right there so it connects up to there and then goes out to your wheel and a bearing. Once again, forget to weld your pieces together. 
Oh, you're gonna have a very odd day. Add your wheel. That side is complete. You're gonna do the same thing to this side. Weld it together. Add your bearing. And your wheel. Front suspension is complete. We're gonna move on to the rear suspension now. Same thing, only we have one block sticking off the back for a short little uh, stubby bed that you can put chests in or whatever you need. So since the rear does not have steering, it will be a lot simpler. And our bearings after our elbows. I'm going to go with the cross piece. This time we are going to add all of these straight pipes right through. No gap, no steering linkage in the front. One straight pipe off of each side, then we're going to go elbow down, then elbow out, bearing, higher. And then we're going to repeat on this side. Elbow down, elbow out, bearing, and your tire. And there you go. Complete. Now, the beauty of this suspension is you really only need to adjust it just one or two depending on your weight. You've got a couple resource containers on the back. You might have to tick them up one or two um, heights and strength, but you can still keep your suspension really soft and that allows you to have good handling and ground control. So once we're done with that, hook up our seat to the steering. Steering is this middle bearing right here and that's going to control our front wheels. If you look at the steering linkage, and this will keep your wheels going the same direction Hold them together when you're hitting things and you won't get floppy wheels that'll turn side to side while you're trying to drive straight. Now we'll go ahead and add an engine. I like the uh, Gear 3 engine just because it sounds the coolest and you don't really need max speed because all the cars are usually uncontrollable max settings. Go ahead and orient that, and we are good to go. Oh, forgot one thing. Always hook up your engine to your seat first, so that you don't have a head-on collision and have to call your insurance. Power, and let's get going. Right out of the box, you'll see just how reactive this suspension is. Got some good ground clearance and movement and flex to it. Although this vehicle itself is not weighted very well because there's no chest or anything to uh, weigh it down, I would suggest making it out of concrete. It would make it just a little bit more stable with all that weight. As you can see, it handles just fine. So, I'm going to begin my montage of me off-roading in this beast. So please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.